Hello guys, so sorry for the bad lightning, but I'm not in my lab. As you can see over here I've got a DCCU for the Clansman series radios. This is the direct current charging unit. As you can see I've got leftover of a 1 amp hour Clansman 24 volt batteries. Currently I'm repainting the aluminium casing and I'm going to replace the cells. As you can see I've got them prepared but when I'm going but where when I was opening that I managed to broke the as you can see the diodes which was used for the detecting the full charge. Here is the terminal for the radio and this is the socket for the charging. So let's see how it looks like. So how they are detecting the charging. So this is very quite simple. They detecting the change in the voltage drop across this diode. There are two diodes in series and they are getting about almost one volt of uh, voltage drop like 0.9 volt. They are in series. As you can see the, the black, the negative side go to the negative and we've got over here our our cold detector and our hot detector. So this one goes on the battery, this one goes on the shell. And I will show you in a second how it looks like when it's working but little bit of theory. So what they are doing they they made a very simple circuit so they are working like a negative feedback so they are cancelling each other and checking what's the voltage drop change on the on the diode so if the there will be like getting warm getting hot the battery which will indicate on the nickel cadmium fully charged they will stop charging and and showing here a green LED. I mean that's probably not an LED, maybe a bulb, but that's how it looks like. And because they've got like negative feedback from the shell, that will be working perfect even if like minus twenty degrees or like forty degrees positive. So this will be like the negative feedback. And then will they will cancel and they will always detecting no matter what kind of temp change that they are fully charged and they are overheating. So let's see what we can do for a testing. And I've got a small flame tower. And let's see, let's try if I've got them correctly. We are going to heat them up. And we should have a green LED. And as you can see, we've got charging complete. And as soon as they will cool down, as you can see now, our charging is in progress. We'll heat them up and are fully charged. So if the battery get warm, we've got our charging completed. So a very very simple circuitry. As you can see, I find out there is one big problem safety if the uh, diodes are not connected, it can send like a charging current all the time. So I decided to put over here over here, uh, I believe that was a 70 centigrade fuse, thermal fuse. So if they, they're, they're, they're detecting by the diodes will stop working, I will have like emergency cutoff. The fuse thermal will cut. So guys, so it's me again. 
As you can see, we've got our charging status on the TCCO. And that's because I finally finished my battery. I must finish. As you can see, I repainted it. But it doesn't look beautiful. I should sandblast it, but I don't have. That's how it looks like. I rewire everything because of the the battery leaked and the alkalic completely damaged the wiring so they won't even solder was unable to solder to them as you can see on, on the bottom I've got our analoop 20 analoop here I've got a fuse in line just standard car fuse that's rated for a 24 volt under this tape we've got our temp sensor which I just distinct myself to be red we've got our thermal fuse for the 70 celsius degrees here i put myself a emergency disconnect so i can just break the ground in case of everything anything bad happened as you can see i solder i use the crimp terminals not solder just like on the original here I've soldered to the charging connector and I secure everything by the silicone so the it won't shake off and break apart because we wouldn't like that. And that's how it looks like. So right now we are charging. We are waiting for warm up. I can feel that it's getting a little bit warmer. So that's a good indication that we are charging well and when they will be warm we should see a green LED and completed charge so I'm waiting to see this and then I will decide maybe I will put a foam over here and seal it completely off or maybe I will left it like that and just put something under and then Put the cover so I will see I don't need actually to be a waterproof so I wouldn't submerge it underwater so maybe I will left it like that just add some foam over here to make sure it won't rattle but there is like quite quite tight fit so as you can see that was one amp hour capacity and we get a 2 amp hour because of using the other loop and we've got a very nice small form factor so I think I can say that I can recommend you doing this mod if you are interested in Klansman radios and by the way that's the diodes I use on the temp sensor and I recommend you using from one baht so they will have like same parameters and same the voltage drop so it's it don't stand quite well because the charging socket is on the bottom but yeah that's how they do it so thank you for watching we we see ourselves next time when the charging will be completed okay so it was like 15 minutes and as you can see we've got a completed green LED I can clearly feel the battery are warm so I can tell you that they are fully charged and when they cool down we are going to go again to the charging process and then to the charging completed so they will keep them like a full top charge but of course I'm going to disconnect them as soon as I will hit a fully charge. So that's how it looks like. I think I can put the lid on and give it a try. So thank you very much for watching and bye bye.